said by you were linked in. That's not gossiping. Honestly. Anyway, might be a good idea while you're living with me to me to find out all about your comings and goings. Elena and I are just friends. Yeah, so you keep saying. But Shona's not convinced. Sarah's not convinced. And what about that little quiet word that Tim warned you about? Even if we were more than friends, which we're not, she's selling her house, so she's very self-sufficient. Oh, don't believe that. She's squirreling it away for a rainy day and then wanting to find a handsome, wealthy man who's going to spend all his money on her while the sun shines, eh? You. I doubt it. Oh, come on. Anyway, so has it gone through the house? I don't know. I don't grow people for gossip on Mike, so... I'm not gossiping, you silly boy. We're all looking out for you. I thought I heard voices. Um, do we have time for a quick brew and some toast before we go? Oh, yes, the shops don't open to the town. Great. Hey, did you get the lowdown on him and Elaine? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, this will insulate me up to minus 30 degrees. But you could rob a convenience store in that. Don't. It's taken me all morning to convince her it's fine. Oh, so what with this and my full body thermals, well, I shall look like the milk tray man. <laughs> well, it's better than dying from hypothermia. Yeah, no, don't do that. We'd have to burn through your inheritance just to get your body home. Oh, sympathetic as always, Shona. I'm just trying to be practical. Well, the outdoor shop was next to an estate agent, and guess whose house we saw in the window under offer? Huh? Elaine's. Mm, yeah, it's worth a few quid and all. One day, I'm going to cash in Grasmere Drive and go on a great whirlwind tour. Uh, one trip at a time, my fur. <laughs> I'm taking this off before it ruins my boofer. <laughs> Elaine, hi. I'm great, thanks. This afternoon, that, 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 sounds, that sounds lovely. Uh, say, three-ish? Good, I'll see you there. Bye. Got a date? Oh, just, um, coffee and cake at the cafe later. Oh, on her, I hope. Honestly, she'll be quids in once that old sign goes up. Where is this email? Ah, here it is. Uh, right, they're saying completion between Christmas and New Year. Oh, I just want the exchange to happen, then I know it's safe and the money's coming. <laughs> yeah, that's the main thing. They'll have to spend absolutely the load on me. Why? Dad's already bought clothes, and that wasn't even for my birthday, so they'll have to top that. They bought you presents as a warm-up for your birthday? Dad did, not Mum, after I got suspended. But isn't that rewarding you for bad stuff? Well, it's hardly murdering people with hammers and wrapping them in carpets. Was that bit true? About the carpets? Wouldn't it damage it? <laughs> I never touched it. What? Well, moved it soft, did it? You're not having a seance? A what? You know, talking to the dead. Me Auntie Mo used to do it every Sunday after gardener's question time. Cards in a circle all round. The glass spelling out messages. Usually from Uncle Frank, saying that she'd offed him. <laughs> I am under the flower bed. I'm so sorry I'm late. Audrey's lost her phone. She reckons she left it in this outdoor shop and she's gone back to get it. And I told her, why don't you just ask David if he's got one of them tracker apps? <sighs> ah, my wallet. I must have left it somewhere. God, I'm as bad as my mother. I'll get it. Oh, now you treat me enough, I insist. It's on me. Oh. Oh, Stephen. Top up. Uh, uh, no, thank you. Yes. Take the call. Let that 
that roofer know what kind of guy he's got on his payroll? <sighs> I'm so sorry. I got kicked under the sofa. Look everywhere. Oh, the things I find under our sofa, honestly, mainly David's stinky bones. David's stinky bones? No, David the dog, not David <laughs> David. <laughs> Listen, I hope I haven't made you late for your solicitor's call. Um, your phone's been very busy. Oh, has it? Yeah, I couldn't help but notice. They're from Gabrielle. Oh, just chatter, I'm sure. Well, your texts show a preview. It doesn't look like chatter to me. I thought you'd like to know what sort of man you're employing. My name? Alia Nazir. Okay. Thanks. Because of all the bad press. You know, it isn't Gabrielle. It's me. She's only saying what's true. Which is? I'm a failure. Oh, Steve, then. This isn't self-pity, it's the truth. I, I can't control anything. My business, my finances, my marriage. This is Gabrielle undermining you. No, you're very sweet, but the facts speak for themselves. I'm a 65-year-old living with my mother, unable to access my own bank account. I promised to invest in my lovely niece's business, and thanks to my ex-wife, I will let her down. Living with your mother is a damn sight better than living with someone who makes you feel like this. She's gaslighting you. I can get another cab later. Oh, no, no. You, you need to keep things moving with your solicitor. This house sale will set you up for life. You're an inspiration to me. You know, a fresh new beginning? I'm sure I'll get there. You know, somehow. snog we're not teenagers what adults snog old people snog i'm pretty sure even ken barlow snog okay uh, i get it no we didn't even snog mm, you will oh you found my phone oh uh, yeah in front of gales you must have dropped it when you got back from shopping we're as bad as each other losing phones we should never been allowed out Oof. I was hoping you'd receive some mysterious messages and i'd discover some dark secret about you i'll give over Hope this works, please. Um... Hello, Mother. It works. <laughs> Hello, son. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's lovely. OK, goodbye, son. <laughs> oh, bless you. Right. Do you know, I think I want a cake with just to settle my nerves. Mm. Come and show me what you've got. Oh. All right. Oh, how lovely. I can have that one, sweetheart, please. With the cherry on it? Yes, that would be lovely. OK. I'll, I'll have a cup of tea, don't I? Oh, I'll have my eye on that one myself. Oh, I don't mind. No, it's fine. Damn. All right. Hi. You want a hot date? Oh, did you really just say hot date while talking about your own mother? All right, yeah, don't draw attention to it. I'm not on a date, hot or otherwise. You know, it never ceases to amaze me how gossip spreads around this place. I have nothing but the utmost respect for your mother, especially at this transitional time for her. And moving is stressful. I just want to be a, a calming influence, a friend. Could you please uh, bring a whiskey over, Gemma? 